Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, usually I'm complaining about the weather, but this week I can have no complaints. It has been absolutely gorgeous here. Um, temperatures are like in the upper 60s, and it's sunny, so it was a good trip to the Dollar Tree this week. So I did find a whole bunch of really cool new things that I'm so excited about. You guys may have seen them before, but this is the first time I found them in any of my Dollar Trees. But first let me get the things that I picked up that I actually needed. Well, these I didn't actually need, but I do like these. I got the um, six-pack of the cream cheese and chives Lance crackers. Um, I really like those a lot. And I did pick up myself two more packs of AA batteries because I've been doing... A lot of craft projects, you know, that have the little lights and things, and they all take two of the AA batteries. So I figure I better stock up on them. And then with Christmas coming and stuff, you know, you always need batteries for something. But I want everything to light up and shine this Christmas because I think we all just need a little bit of that. And I did pick up two packs of my garbage bags. Um, like I said, some weeks I can't find it. It depends on which Dollar Tree you go to. But I love these. These are the 13-gallon tall kitchen bags and you get 10 in here and it has the vanilla scent to them and I really like these. They're a very sturdy bag. Um, yeah, I really haven't had any problems with them. And then I grabbed another two pack of the Coast Soap. You get 25% more in these and um, so I just grabbed another one of them as I was walking down the aisle. Um, but that was it for as far as that and as far as jalapenos, don't need any. I think my husband, I've got him up to almost 12 jars of those in his stockpile of jalapenos, so we're good there. So these, I was so excited to find. I've seen people actually crafting with these already and doing projects, and I have not been able to find them. But these are the floating shelves, and um, they're plastic, but they have these little hooks on the back, and it comes with the uh, screws and the wall anchors and everything. So if you want to put them on your walls, I want to do a DIY with this. I want to make this thing so I can move it if I want to. But um, I think this will be great to do for, you know, for um, sit some of your little holiday knick-knacky things onto or whatever. But yeah, these are really nice. And they are 4.6 by 4 inches, and it holds up to 5 pounds, it says. Uh, great for displaying small items, knick-knacks, and more. So yeah, I was so happy to find these. They show a picture of them in black. I haven't seen them in black, but like I said... This is the first time I found them at my Dollar Tree, and I was just so excited to find these. So anyway, I got three of those, and i got to figure out exactly how I'm going to do this, but we're going to figure it out. And then I just picked up one of these little signs. I think these are so cute. I love doing little things with these, too. Although his face has kind of got stuff stuck on it. But they all had this little mark on them. I don't know if I can be able to get that off or... I might have to paint over him. But look at that. I love his little face. It says Santa stop here. And he's got his little dangle legs. You could put this on a wreath or something too. And it would look really cute. So that was the only sign I believe that I picked up this time. Because I do have a lot of signs already. And then I found these in the Crafter Square section. They have the bigger clamps. They did have the, I think it was a pack of six that you got of the small ones. And I did find some of these similar to this in like the hardware department and it has the red on them and they're probably the same thing um, but I wanted these because they were pink and then matches my other um, these are the little ones that they have in the crafter square section and I love these to hold things together that you're gluing or whatever but I was happy to see the big ones in the um, crafting section and they're pink and then I picked up two of these candles I thought these were really pretty um, I actually want to light one of these up to see what it looks like. Let's open up the red one here, because they're all sealed up, and it has a little plug in them, so you can't even peek to see what they look like. But it says that they're color-changing LED paper candles, and um, this one has gold on it and the silver and green snowflakes, and then this one is red, and it has like the little drips of wax coming. It has this little thing in here, so let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, the top doesn't really light up. But that's all right. That's very pretty. I like that. I wish it would just change colors. I'm not too into a lot of flashing colors for Christmas. But these are really pretty. I really like these a lot. So, yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what the other one looks like when it's lit up. 
But yeah, I thought those were pretty cute. So we'll put them in something or just set them up somewhere to look pretty. All right, and then I did find these again. I haven't found these for a while from since I did a project with them earlier this year. Um, and these are the LED emergency candles. It says you get 100 total hours of use out of these. And these are really pretty. These light up nice. They're a nice bright um, flame on them, and they look really nice and things. And they take, um, well, these take AAA batteries. Of course I didn't get AAA batteries, um, but I think I do have some of those around here somewhere. But of course I stocked up on double A's, but that's okay. Um, I'm sure I have some somewhere. But these are very pretty, so I was happy to find those again. Haven't seen them in a while. And then the crafter score section. I did buy some of the glitter glue sticks, which I still haven't tried yet last week. Somebody was telling me it clogged up their glue gun. Um, I have an older glue gun that I'm just going to try these out on. But I like these because you got a pack of 15 of just all silver. The ones I got last week were multicolored. And then I picked up a pack of the gold. So I have not tried these yet. I don't know if anybody's tried these, but they look really pretty. So we'll see what we're going to do with those. And then I grabbed another um, stencil brush. So I like to have these on hand because they're nice and stiff. I don't do a lot of stenciling, but I do like to use these with paint sometimes just to, you know, have a different texture when I'm painting with them. But I grabbed another one of those, and then I also grabbed another one of these. This is like the third one I think I've gotten from Dollar Tree. And I always like to have an extra one because I use these to make my little dots on things. And it's one of the embossing stylus. And um, yeah, I decorate and with the little ball ends in paint I usually use them for. I know that's not what they're intended for, but that's what I use them for. But I had another one and I have no idea where it went. I'm back to having one. So... If you guys could see this craft room right now, you, you probably wouldn't even even talk to me. I'm just kidding. But I have stuff everywhere right now because I've been like a crafting maniac. But anyway, I got another one of those. Let's move on here. And then I picked up two of these trucks with a tree, and I was surprised to find these again. I think I did pick up one already, but um, I really like these a lot, and I want to get going on these too. But these are real cute. It has like the raised door and the fenders and stuff on it. And actually, the tree is separate in the back, too. And I know some people said that they, you can remove these, you know, if you want to paint under them and then put these back on or whatever with a little heat, like from a blow dryer or a heat gun or something, and you can get these off. But I haven't tried that yet. I'm going to give it a try one of these days because I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, these I was so excited to find, and I bought two of each of these. My daughter found these last week. I have been looking ever since I first heard about them. And that, whoops, is these gnomes. These things are huge. Let me lay this guy down here. Look how cute these guys are. I need to fix his little beard up here. But look how adorable these are. And I love the little hat. So I got two of these in the red. I'll tell you guys how tall these are in a second. And then I got two of them with the gray. And I just love these hats. It's like a nice, you know, Christmas sweater looking hat. It's just plain on the back. But aren't they adorable? I couldn't believe these for a dollar. Let me see. Let me grab my ruler. I want to tell you guys how tall these are. They've got to be at least... Well, let's see. Let's stand them up here. Yeah, they're almost 14 inches. So, yeah. What a great little size. These guys are adorable. I was so jealous. Everybody's been finding. I kind of gave up hope because I figured everybody was just kind of grabbing them up when they saw them, but they had a ton of them at the Dollar Tree I was at today, so I grabbed two of each. <clears throat> and that was that for new. And then I found these words. I was real happy to find these. I've never seen these before at my Dollar Tree. These are the real thick, like MDF kind of material. And it has like a wood veneer on the front of it, which is really nice if you want to paint it or stain it or whatever. And this one says happy. And these are very thick. These are, um, let me see, I'm, I'm good with a ruler. I know people are always asking me if I don't. These are three quarters of an inch thick. So they're a really nice size. So this one said happy. And then we had smile. I don't know if there's any other ones, but, um, these are the ones, I, and I love this one, family. And this was the only one they had that said family. I would have bought probably a couple of these. 
but I like these. These are really, really nice. And I did put us some pictures. I'm going to, if hopefully I remember, because I've said that before and then I forget. I took a bunch of pictures that I want to put at the end of the video, too, of things that, you know, I didn't pick up or things that were in different colors than what I got. And then I found this little, like, little thought bubble here. And this is one of the um, metal things that they have now at the Dollar Tree. Um, it's just called, they're galvanized. That's all they're calling it is galvanized. But... I thought that would be fun to do something with, too. Yeah, that was the only different one of those that I found this week. And then, oh, I picked these up. These weren't in the crafters, or crafters in section. These were in the candle section. And I really thought these candle holders would be pretty for the holidays. Um, I just like they're really thick. And I believe that these are, hang on, let me peel this bottom off. Yes! You could use the taper candles in these, too. I didn't even notice that when I got them, that you can use them sitting up this way, which would be absolutely gorgeous, and put your tall, you know, tapered candles in there. Wow, I didn't even see that when I got them. That's like a bonus for me today. So these are really nice. They have a lot of really nice candle holders right now at Dollar Tree, and they're very heavy and very thick. And then I picked up two of these white bowls that I want to do something. You guys probably already know what I want to do. Um, I see anything that's nice and white and stuff like this, and I just want to decoupage something on it. So I'm thinking we can make these real Christmassy and pretty. Or for anything you want to make them. Or any holiday, you could do these for fall, for Thanksgiving, whatever. Um, and I like to decoupage my napkins on things. So I have a ton of napkins. I may do one for Thanksgiving and one for Christmas. And then I found this trinket box. I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. Now this is one of the things I took pictures of because it was a bunch of different ones and the lids are different colors and they're all wrapped up nicely in plastic. I took it off just so you guys could see. But this has the nice gold lid and these are a really nice size. Whoops. Oh, that was on the outside plastic of it. It's just called trinket box. Um, but I stuck it in there just so I could remember. And then the inside of this is kind of like a silver. But I thought those were really nice. And they're not, I've never found any this quite this size before. But anyway, that was a new find too. And then I picked up a couple of these placemats with a Christmas tree on it. And I think I want to make a pillow out of this to put on my little chair in my bedroom. And to replace my fall one that I did. So I grabbed two of these because I thought this print was really pretty. It has like the holly leaves and gifts and the Merry Christmas down there. But yeah, and these are 13 by 19 inches, so they're a really nice size. And then the last thing that I got this week were these really pretty um, window clings. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. They may go on a window, but I just thought these were real pretty. And you don't have to use these for on the window because they're clear. You could use this in some kind of a craft project. You know, if you made up a nice little sign or something. But I love the gingerbread men. And I love this little cup down here with the hot chocolate and stuff in it. It says, Happy Holidays. And then you get a lollipop, a candy cane. And then there's a couple little gold stars on here. You get 12 pieces of these window cleans. So that is what I grabbed at the Dollar Tree this week. I was very excited to find some things that I have been looking for because I have been looking for these gnomes and I got both colors and I don't know if my daughter found the gray. I think she only got the red or vice versa. I don't remember which ones that she found. She doesn't live near me. She lives about 100 miles away from me and we're always comparing different things that you know she has up by her stores. But she found these last week and I still couldn't find them. But i got to figure out which ones that she didn't get. And then these shelves. This was my other exciting find for this week. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everybody. Mm -hmm.